I was having an issue recently where I want to connect my AirPods to my computer. And how I do that is uh, if I just open my application menu up and type in Blue Man Manager, opens up this program and I can just click connect. Simple enough, okay? Simple enough, that's what I thought. Until I realized, actually, this is kind of a pain. It is such a pain to type this, especially there was a time period where I was using it like on a daily basis. So I'd load up my computer and type this up. And it's annoying because if you're trying to doing it real, if you try to do it really fast, it's very easy to just mess up, and it's just a whole pain. So my solution uh, recently was to just add it to my XNRC, which, um, if you don't know, this file just basically, it's like having certain programs auto load. So let's say I auto load, you know, here execute Blue Man Manager, and it auto loads this alongside all these other programs I want to auto load, and. That's what I've been doing recently, and that's been pretty fine, but still too annoying for me because, you know, you'd load up Blue Man Manager, and then you have this. And sometimes I'll disconnect it and then reconnect it, so I don't want to constantly open and close this. So I just have it on my sixth tag, as you can see, just have it in this last tag. Still annoying, it's just occupying a tag that I kind of don't want it to. So my solution was to write a script and just learn how to connect through the terminal. and. I just want to demonstrate the power of the Linux terminal today. So, um, there's this utility called Bluetooth CTL. And if you enter it, you kind of go into this custom Bluetooth CTL shell where the normal Linux uh, Unix commands don't work, but instead the Bluetooth CTL commands you have to use. So, we type in help and we can see some of the commands. So, one of the commands is devices. And here it gives you device the MAC address, and then the device name. And this is pretty useful. However, from this shell, we can't run this command and then pipe it into, let's say, grep or something like that. However, what you can do is you can run it. You can run the internal shell command from the external shell. So if I do Bluetooth devices, it lists all the devices while still making me remain in the same shell. This is useful because now I can just pipe it into something like grep and then just do AirPods and then, oh, there it is. And I can then further pipe this into awk, um, print, and then what this will do is print out the second column. So when I do this, it will just print out the second column, as we can see, and then we have the MAC address. And there, what we can do is just Bluetooth CTL connect. And then if we do this MAC address, it will connect. Obviously, this is too hard to just type out manually each time. The GUI is just easy at that point. However, we can run this in an automatic script. So this is uh, what I did. I made it that I just made a simple script and I call this BCN. So if we just see up top, I type in BCN tells me what I want to connect and I actually bring out my AirPods out here. Okay. So if I do AirPods, you just wait up oh, and it's connected. It's literally as simple as that. And if we just take a look at the script, so it's in my dot script, BCN and uh, uh, just, okay. Um, really is just three lines, three lines of code. I select, I put this variable called select. And all it does is list Bluetooth, C, uh, Bluetooth CTL devices, pipes into awk, and I'll show you what it actually does. So Bluetooth CTL devices, and then we awk out the third column and then paste it into D menu. All that is, is awking out, uh, you know, do that. But if we just type in Bluetooth CTL devices, we can see the third column is just the name. And originally I was gonna do the name and then the MAC address, but I'm like, I don't even need to see the MAC address. And then, yeah, so through that, we get a menu. From here, I put in another variable and I say, okay, let's Bluetooth CT, let's load up the same Bluetooth CTL devices, but then grep out what we selected. So we selected AirPods. So let's grep out AirPods, as you can see. And then, oh, okay, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work, but we just do Bluetooth CTL devices. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Bluetooth CTL devices. It would be like, okay, let's grep out the line AirPods. And this, so grep out this line. And then from there, I again just select 
the MAC address. And then from there, what I do is, so that's this MAC address is set to the variable MAC and then Bluetooth CTL connect MAC. It is literally as simple as that. And yeah, through this, I just save myself time. I just have to type in three letters, BCN, select what I wanted to, AirPods and boom, it will attempt to connect. And yeah, that's kind of it. Learn shell scripting. If you're using Linux, please learn shell scripting. Automate everything that you can because this will not only just teach you useful skills if you are interested in programming and you want to become a programmer or something like that, but just save yourself time, okay? This is so much easier than typing in Bluetooth manager or what is it called, Blue Man Manager. Like, I basically just created the shell script equivalent. Which one do I want to connect to that? You know, sure, Blue Man Manager has more functionality. I can uh, send a note and pair and untrust and rename. But do you know when I do this? Literally never. I never use any of these features except for the connect button, which I can do the same thing in very simple shell script. So why even use this program when I can just make a very simple script? And if I do need to do something like that, I can open it up and then, yeah, in that, in those terms, it's easier to use the GUI. But in this instance, it's just way simpler to write a shell script. But yeah, I think that's uh, about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, okay, so <laughs> uh, I, made, I made some additions and I just uh, improved the functionality. So now, um, as soon as you try and connect, so after you get the Mac, the, uh, the Mac address, it will send a notification saying attempting to connect to whatever device. So let's say it was AirPods then this will say attempting to connect to AirPods. And then after, um, it'll say, it'll run the command Bluetooth CTL connect Mac to the, yeah, to the Mac address. Now, these two pipes, uh, which usually in computer programming just means or, or, like, or, like, do this or this. And it kind of has the same functionality. So if this succeeds, then it will not run this command. However, if this fails, so it does not connect to the MAC address, to AirPods or to Megaboom or whatever, then it will run this command where it sends a notification saying fail to connect. So now I just wanted to show it off. Uh, if I connect to AirPods, it will say attempting to connect to AirPods. And if we wait for like five seconds, it will say fail to connect. Yep. However, now if I, let me just pull out an AirPod. If I do the same thing, connects. Actually, wait, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Couldn't even really see it. Um, wait, hold on. Uh, should disconnect? Or is it disconnected? Wait. Okay, it's disconnected. Um, so now, okay, let me just show you again. So AirPods, I try and attempting to connect, connected. So I just added some functionality. The If you notice, so I, in my script, I didn't write the um, AirPods connected part. So this part, AirPods connected, disconnected. This is just automatic um, into the functionality of the, I think Bluetooth CTL, I don't know what's controlling it, but yeah. So I, the only thing I added is just attempting to connect, it failed to connect, and I just thought it was cool. So yeah, 